it's time to find out what I liked and didn't like so much in the October update. Welcome back to another video guys, this is your host, this is AJ Gaming, and we're getting straight into what I think was great about this October update and what was not so great but can be great in the future. Let's start with the good and obviously my favourite thing at the moment is these royal ghosts. Secondly is the new profile and clan info tab screen. Uh, thirdly, the added quick train slots, and fourth, the no cooldown for moving traps, which are absolutely great, and we've been waiting so long for all of these. And for the not so good, we have the new recruitment tool, which has just come out, which is brand new, which replaced global chat, and losing your pre-saved quick train armies, which was pretty disappointing because you've had them for so long, and then you've lost them all. Now to go a little bit further in depth with the good and definitely those Royal Ghosts, they are so overpowered at Town Hall 12. I've seen so many videos of some of the content creators and the attacks they're coming up with are insane and I'm pretty sure that these might be my second favorite seasonal troop just behind El Primo. I absolutely love the El Primos, that was so much fun when they introduced Brawl Stars. That was awesome, but definitely this is my favorite Halloween troop. These Royal Ghosts are awesome. People were starting at first using them for just funneling, but you can literally just use mass Royal Ghosts and absolute annihilate Max Town Hall 12 bases. I can't wait to keep using them over the next few weeks. I hope you guys have been using them, and if so, do you like them just as much as I do? Let me know in the comments below. Next thing to talk about is the new info tab screen. I think that is really cool, it's really fresh. And I was watching Itsu, uh, Itsu's video the other day and he kind of hinted that with the hero tabs there is enough space to fit in maybe possibly one extra troop. Is that a hint for the next update? We'll find out. It'd be pretty cool. And if so, if they do decide to add a new hero into Town of 13, which generally is the pattern they've gone with, with the Barbarian King at 7, Archer Queen at 9, Grand Ward 11. Galadon put up a, I think it was a princess, which would be pretty cool, just to go with the two ladies and the two guys, which I think would be pretty damn cool. And if so, if they have an ability, what I'm thinking of, just trying to think of all the different abilities that have been introduced to this game, and most of them are linked towards spells or builder base. And I'd really like to see a cloned princess i think that would be pretty neat so her special ability will be able to clone herself how many times i'm not sure just depends on how overpowering the clone is with this but i think it'd be pretty cool how about you guys let me know in the comments below next thing i would like to discuss was the added training slots so that is awesome you've got now up to train up the six quick armies that is really good especially if you want to experiment with different troops different combinations you can just add them in there especially if you really like the combination and you forgot to save it you can go back add them into your quick train slots you don't have to delete some of your favorite ones now that is a really cool update for everyone and it was for free as well so that was really good and the um no time limit taken off for traps and bombs that was really cool so there is no cooldown now so if you do happen to move one you don't get that 24 hours cooldown which used to happen even if you accidentally happen to move a trap or a bomb that that was really annoying it's really good now especially for town of 12s and legends league you can make minor adjustments to your traps placements which can help you get those extra trophies on defense so that is really neat as well i really really been hoping for something like that for a long time now i really didn't like the 24 hour cooldown just so you can get your bases out straight away so they've restructured that especially for guys and legends so you're able to use a base that you fixed up for the next legends day so thank you supercell for that that is really neat now to move on to the not so good um 
like I said, I love the added training slots for your quick train. Unfortunately, they didn't tell us that with the new update, you're going to lose all your previous ones. So that was a bit disappointing, especially if you've had random troop combinations saved and you can't remember what they are. So I think that was a little bit disappointing. And if it was a heads up, we could have literally just taken a screenshot on our phones or tablets and added them straight in. So again, it was a good, but also not so good. And mostly importantly is the new tab system for recruitment. So this tool has replaced Global Chat in for your challenge to recruit more clan members, which is, they've got some really good things where you can actually recruit people who are already in a clan so they don't need to leave a clan to join your clan. That is really good. It is still only brand new, so like any new search engine, it's going to take some time for it to kind of work its way around and in maybe the upcoming months, it's going to be really good. A few things they really need to change is you, can, you can't change or you can't have a location. So I think that should be added in. So for example, I'm an Australian. So if I wanted to find some Australian players, you can click your free searches that you're looking for, the free types of players to find new members for your clan. And then you should be able to put what country. So if you want to find more Australians, you just put add Australia in there. I think that'd be really neat. How about you guys? So in the end, I think in a couple months, it's going to be really good. We just have to wait and see, and hopefully by the time the December update comes out, which is going to be absolutely massive, that this whole new tool system has fixed itself and you'll be able to find the people that you're looking for, for your clan, or if someone's trying to recruit you so you can join someone else's clan. I think that'd be really neat. So like I said, it's been a really good update, a few things that they need to fix on, but again, it's gonna take some time. Nothing really comes out perfectly straight away. There's always gonna be a few minor adjustments. But like I said, there's a few things that would be good if Supercell does work on. Let me know in the comments below if you agree as well. And again, guys, if you're still new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you are notified straight away when I release my latest video. I hope you guys all have a great weekend and as always, happy clashing.